My name's Alfie Gosling. I'm a citizen of Malden. I've lived there all my life. The Beat the Street was just, I wanted to do it to see what it was, and then it was quite addictive. At the start, I'm like, mm, really? But by the end of it, or by the time I get into it, I'm like, right, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we've completed it all. Just, just casually completed all 73 boxes. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm Adele, I'm one of the managers here at Park Drive Health Club. I put an advert out as a walk and talk support group and I thought I would start the group in order to help people, maybe save someone. And I think it, it did actually end up help saving me right back. I feel like everyone in their own right standing here has been through something um, in their life and we've all just come together. It's been a really, really amazing support group. Alfie, do you want to lead the way to the first beatbox? Yeah. Alfie's normally our leader. It's made me more confident in my wheelchair with the uneven flooring and everything like that. I'm first, I'm king. You're always <laughs> first. I was always worried that... Because I always thought the wheelchair was a bit unpredictable with uneven floorings. But I've actually learned that it's totally fine to row up. It's all accessible and Beat the Street have sort of set up the boxes in a way that they're safe and accessible to everyone. Adele mentioned to us about this Beat the Street and I just feel 100% better. So beautifully organised, I just love it. It really is a lovely thing for all ages and all abilities. It's really a lovely idea. Be careful, cyclist. <laughs> Since Beat the Street, it's brought his confidence up no end. He would never go anywhere without the car, had to be in the car. He's loved every minute of it and, and so have I really. Recommend it to anybody, able-bodied or not. The reason why I enjoyed it a lot is because you go to the places that you don't normally go to and you see new places. So it's what I'd call an eye-opener because it's like, Oh, I never knew that was there. Some of the areas in Malden, which I've, I come from this area, I've never seen before, so, which I've seen now by going to do the Beat Street Walk. Yes, yeah, it's, it's absolutely fascinating. <laughs> it's made us walk around loads more, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's made us see some new stuff that we've never seen before. Even in Malden, we've gone to roads we've never seen before. We were at the top of the hill and we were like, oh, this is beautiful up here, so we're going to ride our bikes up that way now. It's been great. It's really motivated me to get out. And then having uh, Jamie spur me on by declaring war, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really, really fun. Um, but currently I'm winning. Just need to get back in now. Oh, I am I am I am winning. The playfulness has come out in some of the adults. A little bit of happy competitiveness has come out. That oh, what you want, like, what points you want, gems and boxes, and they'll be like, oh, I've done this much, I've done this much, and you're like, how have you done that much? It has been unbelievable how much of a motivator it's been. You know, I looked in the app today, I think we, I've done 99 miles, something mad like that, yeah. which, which will probably hit 100 by the end of this. And you wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done it otherwise, yeah. I think it's given people a sense to take the longer way home, and it's made people really think about how far they walk or how far they don't walk. Prevention is better than cure. You know, this is prevention. And if a lot more people did it, it would probably help us catch up with the NHS. You know, I guess I was a politician. <laughs> you being active, you get to know people, you do get to learn about yourself and your wheelchair and you do get stronger if that makes sense.